What is the non-network driver in Docker? And how can it help me run secure network isolated containers? This video will try to answer that as simply as possible. This is the fourth video in the Docker networking series. Find links to the previous videos in the description below. If you are looking to learn more about the basics of Docker, I'll recommend checking out the Docker Made Easy series. Here's the agenda for this video. We will discuss what is the non-network driver, how to use it, and when to use it, it means possible use cases. Let's start with a quick refresher. What are network drivers? Network drivers enable us to easily use multiple types of networks for containers, and they hide the complexity required for the network implementations. So, what is the non-network driver then? The non-driver simply disables networking for a container, making it isolated from other containers. Within the container, only the loopback interface is created to enable inter-process communication. This is done by using the IP address 127.0.0.1 mapping to the familiar name localhost. But the absence of other network interfaces like F0 means neither can it reach external networks nor can external networks reach it. This makes the non-network driver very secure from a network perspective. But it also limits its usability as we usually wish to enable communication between containers. We'll later look at some possible use cases for none, but for now, let's learn how to use it. Alright, first we will run a container without specifying the network. So let's make it interactive. Let's name it app1. We'll use the alpine image and run a shell process. Alright. Now we are inside the container. Docker uses the default bridge network driver if no driver is specified. The important thing to note here is that this container has access to the internet, which we can check, for example, by pinging a remote web address, let's say google.com. As you can see, this works. We can also test running the package manager update command, apk update. This is similar to apt update for Debian systems. All right, this has also worked. We can check the network interfaces and the IP addresses within this container by running the IP address command. The two primary interfaces of interest are the loopback interface and the Ethernet interface. The first one allows inter-process communication using the familiar 127.0.0.1 address, whereas the Ethernet interface and an IP address specifies that this particular container is connected to a network. On some systems, there are some additional tunnel interfaces like these two. We can ignore them from now. We can also check the presence of a route table using the route command. This shows us that this particular container has a default route that points to a gateway. All of this is a way to confirm the presence of network connectivity. Don't worry if you didn't understand every single detail. All right, now let's see how a container with the non-driver behaves. Again, 
we will run a very similar container and name it app2 but this time we will specify the network to be none using the alpine image and the shell process if we now try to access the internet from within the container it will fail let's check pinging google as you can see the name was not resolved we can also try using the update command And this again shows up as failed. But if we try to ping localhost, what do you think is going to happen? It works. Ping localhost works. And this is because the loopback interface is present. But there are no Ethernet interfaces. Additionally, there are no routes as well. Thus, neither can app to reach the internet nor vice versa. The only way we can connect to app 2 is by using the docker exec command, which is used to run a command inside a running container. I know it might sound confusing. Let's try that out on a new terminal tab. By using docker ps, we can check that the two apps are still running. Now if we want to run a command inside app2, we can use the docker exec command, name of the app and the command we want to run. Let's say we want to list the IP addresses. This shows us the list of IP addresses that we had seen earlier. If we want to run another interactive session, we can specify IT with the docker exec command, name of the container and specify shell. Right now we are inside the app2 container. To exit the shell, we can use control T. And finally, once we are done playing around, we can remove both the running containers using the docker rmf and the name of the containers. All right. Let's look at the possible use cases for the non-network driver, that is when can we use it. While I personally haven't used the non-driver in production much, it might still be useful for use cases that require strict network isolation. I could think of two niche use cases. One is to run network isolated applications that only perform file operations. This could be done by mounting volumes to the container, which then in turn perform operations after certain intervals or by detecting changes of the files. Some examples include using a container for generating database backups, processing log files, etc. Another use case could be to run a one-off command which requires network isolation. Sometimes it might just be required to perform a computation and print something in the console in a secure network isolated environment. Some examples could include CI CD jobs that export produced artifact files or testing suspicious scripts or programs that could contain malware, etc. According to the documentation, none may also be used in conjunction with custom network drivers. 
Do you know of any other important use cases that I'm missing? Please feel free to let me know in the comments below. In this video, we learned about the NUN network driver, what it is, how to use it, and some possible use cases. By enabling network isolation, the NUN driver offers a secure environment for running processes, but that also limits its usability. In the next block, we will learn about the host driver, which provides the best network performance out of the four network drivers we are going to discuss. Thanks for making it so far. See you on the next one. Till then, be bold and keep learning. But most importantly, take care.